Hello again, my name's Take Walker, otherwise known as Present Perfect, and I run a music review podcast. Over the last year and change, there have been such wonderful music out of the Brony community, I felt like it would be a great idea to run a top 10 list. But, since I'm indecisive and there's so many great artists out there I'd like to shout out to, it got a little out of hand. Thus, without further ado, I present the I Love Music Top 20 Brony Songs of 2011. Before I begin, I want to make an honorable mention. Trot Pilgrim for his version of Always the Moon. It's a brilliant, beautiful song with a flowing piano line and wonderfully emotional vocals. Unfortunately, while it may be dedicated to Luna, it's a cover of a song by Jonathan Colton, and as such is not pony related. That's the same reason you won't find tunes like Flutter or a vast Fluttershy's Ascot on this list either. But if you did, Always the Moon would be up around number 3, if not 2. It's one of those rare pieces that outshines its original. Now to the list! Number 20, A Long Way From Equestria by Mando Pony and Acoustic Brony. Mando's an excellent artist who I've been familiar with for a while, and this is a great example of what he can do with an acoustic guitar. Of course, after having made this list, he had to go and re-release the song with acoustic brony, adding an electric guitar and an orchestra. It sounds fantastic. This is a song I think a lot of us can relate to if we're outcast for who we are or what we do. Wishing that the world were more like Equestria might get us nowhere, but it's certainly a lovely thought. Number 19, Summer by Griffin Village. It took me far too long to realize that the artist's name was meant as a takeoff of Al City, who this piece emulates. Upbeat pop leads us on a happy jaunt to find warmth and care with my favorite nearly canon background pony couple. If Equestria has a sound, this is it. Positive, relaxing, and welcoming. It perfectly captures the feel of the end of a summer day. Number 18, Fuzog's Befriends Chain Algorithm, Friends Forever Until the End of Time Mix. The first time I heard this song, I got really choked up by the end. As a chop vocal cover of the theme song, it delivers catchy lyrical phrases, but underneath that is a touch of melancholy provided by the melody. Twilight's vocals become a continual exhortation to her friends. This is the music that plays when life causes them all to say, we have to part ways, but we'll always be friends till the end of time. Number 17, At The Gala 20% Cooler Remix by Sim Gratina. Gratina is another artist I've been following for years, and I was stoked when he started remixing Pony songs. Aside from his excellent trademark house beats, he hits this one out of the park by focusing on the best part of the original, Rainbow Dash's part. Each of the characters' bits is treated differently, which gives the song great strength, but it's that repeated Rainbow Dash solo that makes this At The Gala remix truly 20% cooler. Number 16, Art of the Dress Always Stressed Mix by Pinkie Pie Swear. Art of the Dress, it should be noted, remains my favorite show song as of this recording. What Pinkie Pie Swear did was take that song, add in some nice airy electronics in a minor key, and draw out that always stressed line from the reprise. This song embodies the stresses of designing for pushy customers, combined with Rarity's high standards for herself and potential OCD. The tension through the final half of the song is just palpable. Things are coming to a head and it's not going to be pretty when it explodes. Number 15, Let Your Mane Down by Denotive. Speaking of Rarity being awesome, the Sisterhood Social is one of my top episodes so far this season. This song expounds on the lessons Rarity learned in that episode, plus adds in a shout out to a still popular meme. It's got nice heavy beats and a dual vocal setup that's somewhat reminiscent of Eurodance and helps it stand out from the crowd. A great song to dance to. Number 14, Winter by Griffin Village. Imagine my surprise when the song about the character I hate the most ended up higher on the list than the one about the characters I love. Getting away from the Al City groove, Griffin Village spins a sad song that all but makes me sympathize with Gilda. Add to that the most melancholy violin I think I've ever heard, and electronic instruments that truly suggest a wintry landscape, and you've got a marvelously emotional piece. That final run of Won't You Please Come Back With Me just gets me every time. Number 13, Gimme RD by Isambof Epically. The only instrumental on this list is a rollicking, soaring flight with everyone's favorite Rainbow Main Pegasus. The fast guitars kick total ass in ways that only Isambof can. There's not a whole lot more I can say, you just can't go wrong with amazing post-hardcore like this. Number 12, Pinkie Pie Swear by So Great and Powerful, a fitting tribute to an artist who appears on this list three times. As a pinky glitch mix, it utilizes pretty much all her best bits from the first season, and may very well be the best example of how to use You Gotta Share in a remix. As a tribute, well, Pinkie Pie Swear was the first to use this style, and it's become very prevalent. This is just a great song all around. Number 11, Balloons in My Basket by Fragmented. Continuing on the pinky kick, we get what is perhaps the best theme song for her ever, based off a tiny scene from Lesson Zero. Upbeat with a great electro marimba melody, it features lots of great pinky lines, listen to her giggle snort, and some epically fast rapping from Fragmented himself. He obviously understands Pinkie Pie and her motivations. There's no way to listen to this song and not get a good feeling from it. Number 10, 20% Cooler by Ken Ashcore. Ken is the third artist on this list whose work I knew before Ponies, but even then, this song really blew me away the first time I heard it. Just the production quality alone is astonishing. Then he took a horrible catchphrase meme and turned it into the chorus of a bass-blasting club tune with an infectious heavy beat and some pretty impressive rapping and wordplay. About the only thing it needs is more Ponies, but there's enough.
Number 9, Beyond Her Garden by Wooden Toaster. My face when I realized that I didn't have a copy of this song. I'm doing it wrong. How can I possibly pass this up when it's about a pony I love? Ever since I saw that comic that depicted Carrot Top as horribly plain Jane and then had her go on an adventure resolved by her carrot knowledge, I knew that Carrot Top was a force to be reckoned with. Beyond Her Garden captures that, the simple mare living simple dreams, who isn't quite what she seems, and wraps it up in a catchy, hard electronica package. Number 8, Discord Euro Chaos Mix by Eurobeat Brony featuring Odyssey. I love Eurobeat, it's a guilty pleasure. Knowing that we have an artist in this fandom who can produce professional quality Eurobeat has never ceased to amaze and amuse me. And Eurobeat Brony's work is great. Discord brings us the chaos from the middle of the Season 2 pilot and damn, I get chills every time that Discord shows up in the chorus. And you think it's just a great Eurobeat song with a catchy tune, maybe one that would make a great DDR step, and then the polka shows up out of fucking nowhere. Discord, man, it does that to you. Number 7, Alex S.'s Glitch Remix of the My Little Pony intro theme. Such a great example of what glitch vocals can do. Take a steady beat and add in the right combination of voice sounds and you have something that's memorable despite the fact that no one can sing it. Of course I can, I've incorporated it into my own version of the theme song. That should tell you something about how much I like this one. Number 6, Pinky's Live by Wooden Toaster. Can music be grimdark? Because this is a serious mindfuck if nothing else. With thumping bass, minor chords, and slightly altered Pinkie Pie vocals, Wooden Toaster has turned Giggle at the Ghostly into Pinkie trying to convince herself that everything is perfectly okay when she damn well knows it isn't. This song is absolutely haunting and it haunted me for quite a while when I first heard it. Number 5, Winter Wrap Up Extended Club Mix by DJ Amaya vs Groovebot. Now for artists I knew before Ponies for a completely different reason. When I found out that a real artist, as in one whose work I'd heard on actual published dance and techno compilations, was remixing Pony songs, I still can't believe it. And what a song this is! Everything fits together perfectly and it's absolutely amazing. There's a great glitch lead-in and then we get soaring trance chords over one of the catchiest songs ever written for anything. The remix of the main theme is good too, but man, this is exactly the kind of music I love. Number 4, Sunshine and Celery Stalks by Pinkie Pie Swear. A song about Applejack? Amazing? It's more likely than you think. This is Pinkie Pie Swear at the top of his game, glitching up some fantastic winter wrap-up vocals along with some of her other lines. I think where this shines most is in the music itself, lilting trance without a hint of the country banjo I expected going into it. If I had any complaints about this song, it's that the just fine hint hint line goes away after the first verse. I love that bit so much I wanted more of it, and yet even without that, this song still hits the number 4 spot. It's marvelous! Number 3, What a World by Alex S. featuring Steven Magnet. This is one of the very first Brony songs I ever heard, and it remains one of my favorites. Steven Magnet is amazing, and this captures all of his amazingness, more or less by using all the lines he had in the entire show ever. Please, writers, bring back the Sea Serpent, we love him. This song is just ridiculous and wacky as all get out. The chop vocals are blended together perfectly for maximum catchiness and danceability, and there's nothing about Steven's voice that isn't hilarious and awesome. I kid you not, this song is hard not to like. Number 2, Luna by Eurobeat Brony featuring Odyssey. This is the song that put Eurobeat Brony on the proverbial map for me. A classic dark Eurobeat sound with a soaring chorus that squeezed the tears from my heart. I'll admit to being a huge Luna fanboy, and back when this was released we didn't know anything about her, but it still hits everything home post-Luna Eclipse. It's all about the vocals. I get chills at Luna Won't You Cry For Me because he's very much crying for Luna himself. And ignore the infinite despises and forced backs. This is pure Euro at its very best. The loneliness of a thousand years on the moon, of longing for Luna's return, it still affects me on a very deep level to this day. So, Luna was part of a trifecta with What a World and Pinky's Lie back around the beginning of the year or so that I said were my absolute favorites and Luna couldn't possibly be taught by anything ever because it's so amazing, right? Well, then number one happened, Flutter Wonder by Pinkie Pie Swear. Did I throw you off by saying Sunshine and Celery Stalks was Pinkie Pie Swear at the top of his game? Because this is really beyond the top of his game, even though it came first. This song turned Pinkie Pie Swear into a musical force to be reckoned with, combining glitch vocals of perhaps the cutest number in the show with a steady beat that doesn't overwhelm and perfectly soft synth pads. The only thing wrong with it is that it's so short, but that's what the repeat button is for. I love everything about this song to such an extent that I'm pretty sure it can't be topped, but we'll see. Fluttershy's best pony. When you take her and make something like this out of it, there's simply no way not to feel deep Y Bell wonderful. And that's my top 20 for 2011 and a little bit of 2010. I look forward to seeing what 2012 has in store for us. Until then, this is Take Walker signing off.